what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bitter Thing Studio. I'm um, not even going to take much of your time. I did a tutorial um, once upon a time on uh, framing and how you can make a temporary framing fix for a very temporary room, i.e. your res room so that you know you also feel like this is home, you have a nice place to come back to and it's just it just gives it like some character. We all know like sometimes res rooms are just like so it's always nice and exciting to get out there and just fix them and I know everyone's going back to res now so that is a cool tutorial to go and um, check out but today I actually wanted to show you guys a more t uh, permanent fix with regards to framing so this is basically just like a time lapse on framing I painted a frame I went and I bought it I have been helping um, my person <laughs> i've been helping him uh, with his um, moving into a new place and you know trying to make it look very cute and you know prices are pricey so i decided to do this and yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take you through it um there's this wonderful platform called unsplash and basically what it is is you can just go on there and you can kind of support people who have taken images and you can use them for free download them use them and you know what the nice thing is you can tag them and say listen hey i use your image and it's so cool if you want to find pictures especially for portraits and um picture frames in the house so i'm going to show you guys how i do that um some of the pictures mean a lot to him he has a he has a thingy, uh, an account, a, a, a profile, takes pictures and they are very amazing pictures and I'm going to pick my three best pictures that I think will look very nice in the space and then I will kind of put them in a the frame for, and show you guys how I do that and where I get everything and yeah so I'm going to be doing that for you guys today I hope you guys enjoy this video if you like this video please like it please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also please keep in touch on the socials because I'd really like to hear your ideas I'd like to hear and see how you've done yours I think this is such a cool like it looks it's dapper like this is a dapper idea so I'd really like to hear from you guys but for now let's get started with the DIY Okay, so for this tutorial, I used images from a platform called Unsplash where photographers can just, you know, upload pictures that they've taken and you can download them for free and just give them props. I think this is such a cool platform to get people expressing themselves and us sharing and having access to pictures that are really, really dope. I got the frames at value at the Glen. I got them for 60 Rand each and I think this was a bargain because these things are hella expensive. So... I'm super happy with the, that. So what I started by doing was obviously taking everything apart. I wanted to kind of work with just the frames on their own without the glass or the back piece just so that I don't get paint on everything. To paint these I used like normal acrylic paint that I had left from high school and what I realized is if you sand the wooden frame so that you can get the varnish layer off then the paint sticks better. I didn't have the time nor the patience to do this so I just went ahead and tried to cover up the frames with the black as best as I could. Over and above the frames, I also bought this five piece packet of A3 paper, which I was going to use as the background paper for my pictures, obviously because they are considerably smaller. Um, and what I tried to do is not um, meddle with the paper a lot. That's why you see me like really trying to estimate the middle of the page so I could get that in the middle of the frame. I didn't want to fiddle with the piece of paper a lot because I didn't want any creases on it or any black marks. God forbid that would really make it look ugly. So as you can see, I used press stick just to stick each 
picture onto its respective A3 piece of paper and I think this was an easy way just so that I Okay, so when I was done with that, I basically put press stick. I stuck it on with press stick, and like I said, I just preferred using press stick because I don't want to meddle with the paper too much. And I also feel like glue absorbs, and it just doesn't look nice. So, and it's just really easy. If you want to reuse this, it's just best to do that this way. Don't mind my ashy hands, by the way. Okay, so after that, I can't give you guys a proper method on how to put this thing back in. What I'm saying is trust the gods and wing it. And once I was done, I literally am finished, you know. It has this really nice things that you pick down so that you keep the picture in place, which is really cool. But for the most part, the press stick and everything else that you've done thus far should help you make this thing such an amazing little piece of deco for your room. And just like that we are finished i'm so happy with how this came out guys i hope you try it out and if you do please don't forget to show me get in touch and i shall see you guys with another video next week bye